Yes, I'm back. I'm really sorry that I've been gone for such a long time, but I think everybody is allowed to freak out every now and then, right? So I'm here and I'm going to make a new video for you. I thought I would make a video as soon as I could, so this is not going to be one for which I've done a lot of research, I'm sorry. But if I didn't do it right now, I probably would have chickened out again. So this is going to be a um, question and answer video. I'm sorry I didn't ask you for um, personal questions to me, but I kind of forgot and now is the time, now I have time to film. So I hope you don't mind that I'm using questions that are probably sent to a lot of people. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. But the next video is going to be way more high tech, I promise. I just want to point out that the light is great today. Look at this. I even look like I've slept, which I didn't, by the way, I didn't. Let's head over to my From Spring inbox to uh, check out the questions. So let, let me just start at the top, okay? Um, Love Domi asks me, hi, uh, what do you think of Dirk's, Dirk's, Bentley's daughter's names? Evelyn Day and Jordan Catherine. I really like the name Evelyn. I used to think it was unusable because I knew a girl named Evelyn, well, Evelyn, which is the Dutch version of Evelyn. Um, but lately I'm really starting to like again. Um, to like it again, sorry. Um, Day, the name Day. It's not really my style, but I think it makes a nice combo with Evelyn. Evelyn Day. I think it sounds nice. Jordan Catherine Jordan I don't like that name on a girl it's all, all boy to me I'm sorry um, Catherine is classic and pretty but the combo like Jordan Catherine it's kind of ruined for me because of Jordan I'm sorry second question um, Holden Max or Max Holden again uh, asked to me by uh, Domi um, Max Holden, even though that kind of sounds like a first name last name combination, Max Holden, without an actual last name to follow it up. But I think it would be prettier if it was Max Holden last name. Okay, let's see. What are some of your hobbies besides baby names? Lol. Lauren asks me this. Um, hobbies. I'm a volunteer for the Red Cross. Uh, I call that my hobby because it kind of takes up all the time that I would use for a real hobby. Um, but I do enjoy biking and hiking. So I, you call that my, you, call, you could call those my hobbies. What is up with my tongue today? It like moves around however it wants. I'm sorry about that. Let's go on. Um, ooh, long question. Okay, let's do this one. Um, what do you think of my mom's top five names for each gender? Rate them out of ten. Uh, Le Petit Violet asked me this. Are you really French, Le Petit Violet? Um, okay. Hi, by the way. Charlie for a girl. I am so in love with the name Charles on a boy nickname Charlie. So Charlie on a girl seems slightly wrong to me. Um, I'm going to give it 5 out of 10. Stevie on a girl. I really don't want to say anything bad about this name because I can totally imagine a really really cool girl named Stevie. But I have to be honest and it's not a name that I would ever consider using. Um, sorry. So I'm going to give that one 3 out of 10. Say sorry to your mom. Um, Abigail. I think that's gorgeous, classic and pretty. I give that 8 out of 10. I used to not like it, but it's really, it's really been growing on me. Isabel. <clears throat> Isabel. I'm glad it's not Isabella, but still. It's beautiful and feminine, though it's really overused. I mean, I, I'm not a person who looks at popularity, except for like one or two cases. But some names can really lose their appeal when you hear them over and over and over again. So I'm giving, going to give Isabella 
Isabel, sorry, uh, six and a half out of ten. It, if it would have been Isabella, I would have given it a five because I'm sorry, Isabella, you're way too over the place. All over the place. <clears throat> Evelyn. I've just answered a question about Evelyn. I think it's feminine without being girly. Um, and I like the sound of it, so I'm going to give it a seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Anthony. Um, it's a decent boy's name. Um, it's masculine. It's, it sounds cool, but it's just not a name that I enjoy. So I'm going to give that one seven out of ten because it's still a really decent boy's name. Okay, Sawyer. Sawyer, is that how you pronounce it? I've been seeing this name a lot lately, but I'm not sure if I like it. The name looks like it should remind me of something nasty for some reason. Is that weird? Does anybody else have this? Tell me in the comments because... Sire. Mm. Five out of ten. Sorry. Micah or Mika? Hmm. I, I would prefer it if it was spelled, if it was said Mika, but I don't like the spelling of that name. Um, and it doesn't seem very masculine to me. I mean, I'm assuming it's, it's a boy's name, because I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to give that one four out of ten, sorry. Duncan. <laughs> Same problem as with Sire. It just sounds like it should be a nasty word to me. I'm not sure where I, where I get that from. Five out of ten as well, sorry. Cooper. Oh, I love this name. It, I think it's super cute and fun. It just sounds so cute. Um, I'm not too sure how this how this name would age. I'm not too sure how a 50 year old Cooper would get along, but I still think I love it. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to give Cooper eight and a half out of ten. I just want to show you this really, really quick. I just want to show you something really, really quick. Look, <gasps> it's my blue cup to drink delicious water. Mm. It's kitsch and it's blue and it's it's plastic. Don't you just love really kitsch cutlery and cups and whatever you can put in your kitchen? I love it. Tell me in the comments below if you do. Come on, come on, it's blue, it's blue. So that was my video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you forgive me for being inactive on YouTube and from Spring for quite some time. I am definitely going to try to start that all up again. I started a blog if you want to read more about what I'm doing when I'm not in from Spring. It's going to be a blog about all things interesting to me. Um, and I hope you all find them interesting too. I also really want to thank everybody for being so nice to me when I asked on Formspring if you would watch my channel if I started it up again. You are all fantastic. I couldn't wish for a better and lovelier audience than you. Um, so thank you and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye!